All right, now the carbon cycle is a simpler cycle than the nitrogen cycle, and it doesn't really have a beginning or an end, but we're going to start with sunlight. Um, and sunlight is a part of a process that plants perform called photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, plants take um, the energy from the sun and carbon dioxide from the air, and they use it to make the byproducts oxygen and glucose. And so this is where they're taking carbon from the air and making it a part of their leaves and their um, um, food so that they can survive. So they're making glucose. Um, and that glucose is what we call organic carbon. It's a carbon that's part of an organism. And we can have organic carbon as part of animals as well um, if we eat plants. So we um, have this stage of carbon that's part of organisms. After that, um, those organisms can begin to decay, and then the carbon is going to become a part of the soil. So we have decaying organisms and waste products becoming part of the soil. Um, or that organism could create waste, either as a solid waste or as gas. If it's waste as a gas, then it's going to go back up into the air. Um, or if it's solid, it's just going to go down into the soil and decay. So those are two ways that carbon goes into the soil. After it goes into the soil, um, it can become a part of fossils or and eventually part of fossil fuels like oil and natural gas. Um, and this takes a long time, but this is part of where carbon can go. And then those fossil fuels can be used in something like a factory later on. Um, so then we've got um, either the fossil fuels being used in the factory or the process of cellular respiration that send carbon back up into the air. In cellular respiration, um, plants or animals can perform this process, but it's the process of taking, um, taking in oxygen and using glucose to produce carbon dioxide and um, water. And um, that carbon dioxide gets released back up into the air. And we can think about this because we, when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide. That's the process that creates that carbon dioxide. The other way that carbon can get released back up into the air um, is through factory or automobile emissions or basically any kind of fire. Um, anything that's combustion or creating smoke is releasing carbon dioxide into the air. And that fire can be natural or man-made. So forest fires, for example, would be a natural type of fire um, if it's caused by lightning. And uh, that's also a process that releases carbon into the air. And carbon in the air is always in the form of carbon dioxide, which is CO2. Now let's go back down here real quick. There is a type of carbon that can be taken up by the ocean, very similar to the nitrogen cycle where nitrate becomes part of the water. Um, so we have some carbon that's existing in the ocean, um, and it's just kind of in storage there. And I think that that's it. So here we have the carbon cycle. Now remember that it doesn't have a beginning or end, it just keeps going around and around and changing form.